normal kind of guy. You know, didn't live in the palace, he wasn't royalty, and I think she really liked that life because her mother was grooming her to be someone she didn't want to be. So she was really sort of trying to escape that, and he was like a ticket out. Um, so I think it, I think, yeah, I think that the, the I love you's probably happened in the first, you know, couple months of knowing each other. <laughs> I mean, and he taught her how to ride a horse. Hello. My question is for the both of you. So Once Upon a Time is a TV show that likes to kind of take fairy tales and flip them on its head and provide plot twists. So what's been your favorite plot twist over the course of six years? I really liked, I did really like what they did with the Peter Pan. Um, just because I also thought Robbie was great. He was really great as like a, an evil uh, sort of pan. And I thought that that was a really good twist on that, on that story. I also thought what they did with Frozen was really good, how they yeah. managed to introduce something that when, I remember when we first heard they were doing it, and I was like, I don't know how the hell they're gonna make this, make this work in Once Upon a Time, but they managed to make it work, so that's one thing that I did are really great, great at, and all the writers, that they just sort of, they, they're great at making these stories sort of weave in and out of the, the life of, uh, of Storybrook, I guess. I mean, in all the stories that we've read, we never knew that the Evil Queen and the Wicked Witch were sisters. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I also love working with Rebecca, so there's that. Um, not necessarily a plot twist. I would probably go with what you said, because I think Peter Pan, that, that kind of came as a surprise to everyone. And that is probably one of the better plot twists um, of the last six years and on once. Yeah. It was a difficult season to do because we were in that set the whole time. <laughs> but what people don't realize is because it was all muck everywhere and stuff like that. But they had this smoke. The smoke machine. The smoke going. machine, but it blew up the dust and stuff. So you, you'd leave work and you'd have like giant black but like snot it was really and then if we weren't there we were in the forest when it was raining on top of us it was, uh, <laughs> it's a fun season <laughs> it was good it was good, uh, it was good bad story. for my hair yeah it was a good story it was um but I, you know one thing i did appreciate about having neverland on a stage was that we were inside um, <laughs> but most of the time we were outside Every other season. <laughs> it's hard working in the rain when it's negative seven and pouring and snowing on your face. Well, and that's it? I think that's it. Well, we can't end on that note. We gotta end on another note. Can we end with one more question? Does she have one? Do you have a question? Over here. Oh. How about she was standing there? Oh, but she was standing there? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna sorry. take, we'll, we'll do, can we do two and then wrap it up? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to be fair. Hi. Hello, um, this is sort of a large question, so take it as you will. Okay, but, this might be the two. Uh, <laughs> what advice would you give to shy people with large aspirations? Ooh. Oh. Why'd you keep that to the end, there you go. <laughs> What would I give to shy people with huge aspirations? I would say just keep putting yourself out there. I mean, I was, I was terrified to sit on stage. I remember during Boomtown, during the, um, some panel we had, it was in front of like 400 um, journalists or uh, TCAs. And, Thank you. And um, I, I remember sitting on stage, and it was the first time I did anything like this. And I was shy to be in front of a lot of people, not necessarily in my own home, but in front of a lot of people. Um, I was terrified to just even just be myself. Like, what was I gonna say? And am I gonna sound dumb or whatever? And I remember running off stage 
during Boomtown, I was like, someone asked me a question, I think I answered it, I don't know, and then I pretended to not feel well and left, and I went upstairs and bawled. And I was like, this sucks, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Um, and I just thought, well, the only way to overcome this is to just keep doing it. And so I kept putting myself in positions, like however I could do it, getting up and singing a karaoke song even though I was terrified to sing in front of people. It's like, just keep doing the thing that you're so afraid of and eventually you'll blow through it. It won't be as hard. And then maybe you'll discover something new and cool about yourself too. Belief and perseverance. Isn't that right? Isn't that what you're saying? Yeah, believe in perseverance. Uh, yeah, because yeah, it's difficult. Like, a pretty, like, we become actors so that we play other people, so that technically we're not being ourselves. So, like, even stuff like this is really nerve wracking. The first time you do this, and I mean, you guys are obviously fans of the show and stuff, and it's a fantastic environment to be a part of, but it's really, really nerve wracking. You know, we're just regular people who just happen to have fallen in love with a career that can put you in front of people like this, but you know, you have to overcome, exactly as Lana said, you have to overcome uh, a fear of standing on stage and being yourself, as opposed to being a character, because it's easy to say lines that somebody else has written for you, but it's very difficult to, to sort of, well, I find, to be here and be me, so, yeah, yeah Lana's there, right? I, I agree with that. It, it's, this was nerve-wracking. I remember when I first started doing the conventions and like, getting on stage and seeing all of you, it's like, oh my god, <laughs> you know, and then the more you do it, the easier it becomes, and then you start to sort of figure out, like, oh, wait a minute, this is now where, I, like, you start to feel it in your body differently, like, oh, this is what this feels like, okay, and now I know, you know, what it's going to feel like next time, and it doesn't become so nerve-wracking, yeah, it's just... Keep putting yourself out there, Thank like you. you did today. Thank you. I think that we do have to uh, Sorry, we have to go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thanks. Come on the tour, everybody.